Hi there. You know, perhaps the most confusing five minutes a person can spend in their life is the first five minutes on a trap field. I was confused, my wife was confused, and we've seen quite a few shooters have tried to learn to shoot trap on their own, but because of the concept of aiming, they get all messed up. I'm Gil Ash of OSP Shooting School, and I'm going to share with you something that my partner and boss, Vicki, uh, and I have discovered in helping people learn the game of trap. It's a fairly simple game, but shotgun shooting in itself is not a simple thing. Trap, however, is shot on a trap field, obviously. There's a trap house. The machine oscillates back and forth, back and forth. You know the point of origin, but you don't know the angle of the target. We like to describe trap as a game of hold points and break points. The first mistake people make when they try to shoot trap is they try to mount the gun, look down the gun, call for the bird, and then they're chasing the bird with their eye centered over the gun. Our approach is a little bit easier visually and a lot more consistent and effective from a score standpoint or a performance standpoint. It also aids you in shooting other clay target games such as skeet, sporting clays, and you can actually use the techniques that we teach in the field hunting. Just to be blunt and honest, I would be the last person in the world that would tell you this is the only way to shoot trap. I will, however, be the first person to tell you that if you can separate your eyes and the gun when you call pull and maintain focus on the target when it leaves the trap and focus really hard on the rings on the target, that your hands will always follow your eyes. And when you see the target, all you have to do is move your hands to the target without looking at the gun Pull the trigger when you get there and you'll hit the target. It's a very simple game once you separate the hands and the eyes. So let's get started. We're going to draw a picture of the trap house from a bird's eye view, straight down. Okay, here's our house. Here's station three, five, one, two. That would be four, wouldn't it? <laughs> All right. The target has a point of origin right here. It's going to come out somewhere in this angle. Same height, travel the same distance, but it's an unknown angle. Trap is shot with a method we call swing through, which means the gun starts behind the bird, eyes focus on the bird, and because the hands always follow the eyes, you're looking at the bird, you swing the gun to the bird. When you touch the bottom of the bird, pull the trigger. So if this is our point of origin, Okay, the target's going to come out somewhere in here, but we don't know where. So now we've got to figure, what are we going to do with the gun and our eyes on each station? Well, there's five stations. And that's right, you guessed it. You're going to do something different on each station. We're going to go through focal points, and we're going to go through hold points. Okay, let's start with focal points first. That's where you're going to hold your eyes. One fundamental you need to remember, never focus on the back lip of the trap house or the front lip of the trap house. Focus well beyond the front lip on the, uh, on the trap house on something on the ground, but we want you to align that something on the ground up with a position on the trap house. Trap is a game of timing. Do you think it might be advantageous for you to see the target the same distance in front of the trap house every time? Well, I can tell you from experience, that's a great advantage because the timing sequence of going to the bird happens at the same time every time. So if we were to imagine the point of origin and we were to imagine a piece of PVC or a stick or something equal distance in front of the trap house that the target is back here, then we would say that that would be in the center of the angle that the target might be coming out. So if we had our eyes in the center of that angle, regardless of which station we were on, then 
chances are we're going to see that target, whether it comes out here, here, or here, in the same distance, at the same distance in front of the trap house every time. Now pay attention. Here's where it gets interesting. So we want to be looking in the middle of the angle regardless of the station. So on station one, if we wanted to be looking in the middle of the angle, what we would do is focus on something out here. And isn't that interesting that <laughs> that's halfway between the front lip of the trap house and the middle of the trap house. So we want our eyes focused above a point on the trap hills out here, okay, so that we're focused beyond the path of the target, so that whether the target comes out here or here, our eyes have to move the same amount either side of that center point. That would be the, whole, the focal point for station one. Station two, we want to make the same line right through our piece of PVC, focus on something on the ground out here. That would be the focal point for station two. Station three, same thing, right through the middle. Station four, again, we want our eyes always to be in the center of the angle. Okay, And station five, So, we've got five, four, three, two, one. Now, do you see how these focal points are half, well, I guess you'd say they're more in the middle of the trap house. Number three is in the very middle. Number one is halfway between the middle and the front edge. Number five is halfway between the middle and the right edge. So that all, we always have our eyes here in the middle, okay? That way we pick up the target at the same distance in front of the trap house. Let's look at this now from behind the trap house. That trap house has got a short leg. Okay. <laughs> the first thing we want to do when we come to a trap field is to figure out where the middle of the trap house is. Okay, all right. Now we know the middle. Halfway around, out would be our focal point for station number one. Halfway between the middle and number one would be our focal point for station number two. Number three, okay, we're gonna go halfway in here, that's number five, and halfway here would be number four. Now these are our focal points. That's where we want our eyes, if we're on station one, we want our eyes over this point of the trap house, we're going to be focusing on something way out here beyond the trap house. Why do we want to do that? Because our eyes come back and focus in one move. It takes two moves for them to go out to focus. Why is that? Because the muscles that actually squeeze the eyeball to change the focus, when they tense up, the focus comes back. When they relax, the focus goes out. Now try this for me. You to take your hand and get ready to make a fist. When I say go, you make a fist as fast as you can. Ready? Go. Fast. You see how it happened quickly? Now, when I say go again, I want you to relax every muscle. Okay? Ready? Go. Do you see how long it took you to relax the muscle? Your focus comes back. When it comes back, the muscle tenses up to flex the eyeball to make the focus comes back. When the focus goes out, it takes longer for that focus to get out there. So you always want your eyes focused well beyond the front of the trap house, on the ground, on something that is in line with each one of these focal points. But why do we put them, why do we take a reference off the front of the trap house? Because every trap house is the same size. All trap targets come from the trap house. Again, these are beginning points. You're going to change them as you get better. You're going to find certain things that work for you visually, probably are not going to work for your friends, your dad, your mom. Sometimes people see the same when they shoot a shotgun, but it's very seldom. Okay? So now we have our focal points. Okay. Now where do we put the gun? Here's where what we're talking about may deviate a little from the world champion trap shooters, but They've shot a lot of trap bars. And you're going to evolve to your own hole points. But the point is, we want to have our eyes in one place and the gun in another place. Okay? So, reviewing our, whole, our, our 
focal points, okay? Focus. Number one, when we're on station one, it's between the middle of the trap house and the front left corner. Station two, between station one and station three, which is in the middle. Station four, between three and five. Five is halfway between the corner and the middle. Okay, so those, that's where your eyes are. Now, let's talk a little bit about where the gun goes. We're going to look at the trap house now. In fact, let's do this. I think this would even be more effective. Let's put our focal points on this trap house. If we're shooting trap, this is the back of it. Those are our focal points. Remember, and we're focusing on something way out there in front, okay? Here's our hole points. When we're on station one, the gun's gonna be right over the front left-hand corner, about a foot high. Station two, about six inches, halfway between middle and front. Station three, just to the right of center and just below the lip. Why just to the right of center? If the bird comes out right in the middle and you're holding right in the middle, it's going to be hidden by the gun. But if you hold just to the right of center, if you get that straight away, which is a common target that's missed when you begin, because you overreact when you see the blur. If you will hold just to the right of center, right on the front lip with your gun, then when you get that straight away, you'll see it clearly and you'll be able to go to it. Station four, front right hand corner, and station five, a couple of feet to the right and about a foot low. Why do you want four and five over to the right? Traps a swing through game. If you're on station four or station five, and you've got the gun set up more over the trap house, when the bird comes out and gets ahead of you, you've got to swing the gun completely through your visual circle to get that gun ahead of that bird. It's very confusing to the beginning shooter. If, however, the gun is to the right and just below the front lip, as the bird comes out, the eyes can see the bird and the, bird can, the gun can then come up and cut the bird off, not having to go through the visual circle. Visual confusion is what kills most people's interest in traps. We want to have the gun a little bit lower and a little bit more to the right on station four and station five. Be just the opposite for lefties, but you can figure that out. Now that you have something to practice, you need to go out and actually shoot some trap. Don't know where to go? Where to shoot.org. Thousands of listings of shooting facilities all across this country, a place where you can go out, make some noise, and break things. But just remember, when you get there, Firearm safety starts with you.